by Chad Dennis. Uh, Harrison Wrestling Club yep. here at the uh, OAC Year 15. Ha have you? Uh, what's your experience uh, at this tournament? Have you been here in the past? Yeah, this is uh, probably my fourth or fifth year, but our club's been coming. Um, we have 17 kids here this year, so it's the most we've ever had. That's awesome. So we're pretty congratulations. Pumped. Thanks. What? What? Uh, what would you say led, lead, has led to your? Your personal, your, your PR and, and uh, qualifier. Yeah, I think, um, you know, with me, uh, my son's in the club, uh, another high school coach, because I'm the head high school coach, uh, another one of my assistant coaches, uh, his son's in the club. So it creates a situation where, uh, you know, we've plucked everybody we can to come and be a part of, yeah. of our program. And, yeah. and so we're getting good athletes and they're getting good quality coaching. What do you think of this event? I personally, this is maybe the best looking youth event uh, yeah. I've, I've been to. It's awesome. I think it's the gold standard, you know, as far as youth events go. Um, you know, you have to earn your state qualification. So it's a legit state tournament. And, uh, I mean, these kids are these kids are tough kids. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how good some of these guys are. Really, you look around and the guy sitting in the corner is like, there's... There's just great wrestlers everywhere, yeah, and the yeah, culture sure. the culture seems to be outstanding. It is. Uh, you know, we, we're trying to bring our kids up the right way. Um, none of our kids that are here cut weight. They're all Harrison kids, so we got 17 of our kids. No, no weight cutting. No weight cutting. So, My son weighed in four and a half pounds under. <laughs> nice. You should have had a Big Mac before. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you, does that ever cause a – is there ever any parents that are like, yeah, that, uh, you know, it's an old school thing. You know, it, it is. It is, but our belief is that we have them cutting weight now. They're not going to want to wrestle when they get to us. Yeah. So, uh, since I'm the head high school coach, we're trying to create a situation where our commu it's a community team. We want these kids to want to be a part of the community team, be a part of the high school team, and and so we're doing everything we can to keep them in the sport. That's awesome. Anything else like that that you would say is kind of non-typical? I mean, I think. We're starting to see more people go away from weight cutting, but it's certainly not like not, not allowed not here. In not here, you aren't. Not really? here, you aren't. No, there, there's weight cutting all over the place here. I know. Uh, didn't Jared put some rules in, like that you got to weigh did. out and stuff? He did, and were, they let they actually let him. If they missed weight last year, they still got to stand on the podium. Um, and there were a lot of kids that basically triple dipped from losing in the semis because they didn't make weight. Um, oh, man. And now they're not even letting them get on the podium, but it's still keeping kids, you know, from placing in state or, or getting on the podium themselves. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad, it's a bad, it's a bad habit at this weight. And you see kids wearing plastics and taking supplements and all that kind of stuff. The last thing we need is people to leave wrestling because they are unhappy or yeah. don't feel good. Or, and, you know, uh, sometimes I feel like kids think, that, all right, tournament's over, I made weight, you know. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, and, and for us, I mean, look, there's enough negative stigma that comes with our sport. Um, yeah. We want it to be a positive experience, especially at this age. Um, yeah. You know, we practice hard. We want to win every match we wrestle. But, you know, I, I won't yell at these kids. I, I just won't do it. What's important? What's important to you, you know, to pass on to your wrestlers at the youth level? Like, what do you want them to get out of wrestling? Um, you know, look, I want the fundamentals to be solid. Mm -hmm. I mean, so when they hit our junior high and high school programs, uh, you know, I don't want them to question what a penetration, what a level change. You know, I want things to be solid. I want them to know we got to stay behind the arms on top. You know, just all the basics of wrestling. Everybody wants to go to these clubs, and, and it's just live wrestling, live wrestling, live wrestling. Mm -hmm. And the kids miss out on the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And then they wonder why everybody catches them at a certain point you know you've got to have the fundamentals that's what wins at the high levels NCAAs um, you know the kids are hitting solid stuff you know yeah. what uh, what's the uh, the involvement from the parents like at the club uh, great I mean uh, the parents you know we let them know that hey we're gonna coach the kids when we're here mm -hmm. um, you know but they're they're awesome about it they know that we have experience. I mean, we got college wrestlers that, you know, are in our room. I mean, I was a college wrestler. My assistant was a college wrestler. Uh, we're in the room every day, and, and so they know we have a basis, we have a knowledge, and, and they trust us. What are you doing to bring more kids into wrestling? Is there an effort that you have that's, you know, you said you're plucking all these kids, but is there an effort to 
to pull in wrestlers that nobody else in their family wrestled or try to yeah. get them involved. I mean, we, we go and visit the elementary schools. Awesome. Um, you know, my, you know, when we're playing football, I just promote the sport at all times. Mm -hmm. I'm always wearing my wrestling gear. You know, I'm always wearing T-shirts. I'm always wearing, you know, shirts that say champion on them. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff matters to the parents. You know, they want their kids to be a part of a program that is successful. Is there any... Anything that seems to be particularly effective in, in, in getting that new family to step into the wrestling room? No, nah, you just have to build that relationship. Yeah. You know, you got to bridge that gap to where they don't know anything about it and they'll tell you, hey, I don't know anything about the sport. Um, you know, and you just build a relationship with them. Yeah, those people that don't know anything about the sport typically think it's weird. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, for sure. But, uh, man, I do think, I believe that you put. It's a little crazy in here, you right, know, no, and, no, no. and it, it's over the top a little bit, but it's also producing All-Americans, National Champs, oh, Olympians, sure. but I believe that when we get people in the door, there's some, you know, everybody, most people see it and think, uh, you know, there's something to it that's great. Oh, not for sure. And obviously, we know we don't do yeah. anything else, right? Right, right, right. Um, all right, what's, uh, what's goals for your club? Anything else we didn't talk about that is... Uh, motivation for you to have the club or to, to no, continue I mean, coaching? Again, you know, my son's in it. I got a, a, a nine-year-old in it in D3, and I got a, a five-year-old that hasn't started making this track yet. So uh, so we're going to be in it for a while. All right. So what's your, uh, what's the uh, dad slash coach dynamic like for you and your nine-year-old? And are you, are you uh, figuring it out? Yeah, I mean, obviously figuring it out, but he's qualified here since kindergarten. We haven't placed. Um, we're just building on the fundamentals. We, you know, I tell him every time he walks on the mat, two rules, try your hardest, have a little bit of fun. I tell him I love him every time he walks on the mat. You know, and, and uh, win or lose, uh, I know that we're teaching him the right things. I know he's not cutting weight. I know that, you know, he practices hard. I know he's, you know, doing all those things, and he knows right now, Dad's not going to yell at me for wrestling. Do you think he enjoys having you in his corner? Uh, you, know, you know, I questioned that for a while, uh, but the last couple of years, I think he's really uh, started to really fall in love with the sport, uh, knows that, you know, he travels with our high school team with me, and goes to the tournaments and wants to be a part of part of all the cool things that, that, that uh, are options for him. Well, I promise you, he will uh, look back at the car rides and the tournaments yeah. and the practices. It'll be the best, you know, the best parts of his life so no, for sure. that's awesome and um, it's awesome we appreciate everybody that is putting their energy into into the sport and yeah. and making it better uh, anything else that that you want to share with us no we're just hoping to get some kids on the podium you know at the end of the weekend uh, um, you know we're hoping for multiple places we get multiple places we'll call it a good weekend heck yeah thanks a lot Chad no problem